welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos, then definitely hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. Today I have a lot of things that I want to share with you all. But before I do so, I do want to show you the bag that I am currently carrying. You know, it is a bag that I am challenging myself to carry. And I don't want to give too much away, but I just want to say that I feel like this is my first time carrying this bag. <laughs> that sounds weird, I know, because I have carried this bag before and it irritated me. But this go round is completely different. Like, I feel like I'm literally carrying another bag. And the bag that I am talking about is my Layla in the color taupe. I'm super gorge and yeah, um, I cannot wait to give you all my feedback on this beauty. So next up, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you all. I have finally reached 1K subscribers and it feels so surreal. Like, I love recording and putting out content and um, I love interacting with all of you and I could not have done it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for just believing in me um, and rocking with me. Like, you guys are just amazing. And I don't even really know how to feel. Like, I'm still numb from it. <laughs> um, so next up, I just want to let you all know that we finally have a name for baby boy. And this is the main reason why I am recording this video is because I wanted to pretty much tell you all my story and how um, we actually went about choosing this name so um yeah and i'm gonna try to not be so emotional either but y'all just don't understand like if you you have to have been through something that god has brought you to the that god has brought you through to really understand like my joy right now so let's go ahead and get into the story i know i don't really talk about my personal life too much on here because when I come to YouTube, I come to just get away from it all and just enjoy what I love, which is handbags. <laughs> but, you know, we all go through things, you know. Um, that's just a part of life. So, so where do I start? I guess let's start with the moment that I found out I was pregnant. I was actually three weeks pregnant when I found out. And, and the whole reason why I decided to take a test is because I wasn't feeling my best. And I knew it was strange. So I ended up taking the test. The test was very faint. So I didn't tell my husband just yet. But I did actually reach out to my sister and was like, um, what does this look like to you? <laughs> so of course she was like, oh my gosh, you're pregnant. And I'm like, I'm just not, I don't know. So um, we both actually went and bought another test together. You know, the kind that actually tells you that she reads out pregnant or not pregnant. We bought one of those just to be sure. And when I took it, like it took no time. The results was like, yeah, you're pregnant. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. So of course, the after we confirmed it, I did tell my husband um, that same day too. And he was so overjoyed um, and so happy. And I was happy for him as well because I know that he's the one that's been pushing me to, um, pushing me and telling me that we need to have more kids. So fast forwarding, you know, I'm feeling super duper pregnant so early on and like it took everything in me just to muster up the strength to go about my day, you know, um, extremely nauseous. And never threw up though, which is like the worst because it's, it lingers all day. So that's pretty much how I felt most of the time. And then a couple of weeks went by and I had a new symptom arise. That was me starting to have um, some bleeding going on. So when that happened, like I had so many thoughts going through my head because two months before we conceived Kyra, we had miscarried. And the same thing had, it started the same way, you know, with me bleeding light and then it got heavier and went to the hospital only to be told that, um, you know, they could see that there's a gestational sac there, but they can't see a baby 
could be because it's early on don't panic like they told me all of these things but of course at that time I was thinking the worst because that had never happened to me so um a couple of a couple of days later it did get worse and I'm and I did lose my baby um and it was so devastating and so hard to get through because I think the worst part for me was having to continuously go back to the doctor like I was literally going every other day because they wanted to check and make sure that my levels were going back down to normal so that was pretty scary for me um but once we got through that, you know, I just said, you know, what? If it's meant to be, it's going to be. And we're just going to try this thing again. And two months later, we conceived Kyra. So, um, Kyra is my little rainbow baby. <laughs> and she is very special. Um, but all of my kids are. I love all of my kids. So, um, yeah. Same thing was happening with this one. You know, I was bleeding. And unlike the last time when I automatically thought the worst, this go round, I didn't. I didn't think the worst, but I did kind of prepare myself too. So I'm like, you know what? If this is happening again, then I already know that God is going to give me the strength to get through it because he's already done that before. <laughs> That's how my mind was processing it. Reached out to my doctor, told her what was going on, and she brought me in at seven weeks um, to do an ultrasound. So I was so nervous, went into the appointment, at that time, my husband couldn't come with me, so I had to go into this thing by myself during this crazy pandemic. Went there, sat down in the ultrasound chair, and my ultrasound tech is so awesome. Like, I hear all kinds of stories about how ultrasound techs are, how they don't really want to tell you anything because they want the doctor to tell you, but mine, she is the bomb.com. I love her. And she was like, you know what, Monica, I usually don't do this because I want to try to look around first and see what's going on. Um, she said, but I want to go ahead and show you something. And next thing I know, I hear this heartbeat. And it was so strong. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> and she was like, that is your baby. She was like, your baby heartbeat is really, really good. I think his heartbeat was like at 163. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a strong little baby. And it was so amazing to just see his little self. He looked like a little nugget at the time. <laughs> That's actually what I nicknamed him, Nugget. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like that calmed my nerves. And then she kept looking around and she was like, but I do see where the bleeding is coming in at. She was like, it looks like your placenta decided to detach itself and reattach. And I'm like, why would it do that? She was like, you know what? It just didn't like the spot that it originally attached to. So it wanted to find another spot that was better for you and baby. So that was a relief. Um, and when talking to my doctor, she told me that she wanted me to just take it easy because we needed to make sure that this bleeding stops um, before they have to do go further in trying to, you know, help the situation. So I did just that. You know, when she told me to just chill out, I did just that. I prepped my foot up. And my husband is so amazing, y'all. Like, no lie, the only thing that he has ever cooked cooked for us is soup. But when I tell you this man got on his uh, phone and he was looking up, like, recipes on YouTube. <laughs> and my husband can cook, y'all. Like, he made a salmon one day, steak one day. Like, it just, it just put me at ease to see him taking over and just like allow me to prop, put my foot up. So I did no cooking, none of that. Like hubby did his thing. <laughs> so that was amazing. And within like a week of me propping my feet up, the bleeding immediately stopped just like that. Like they didn't have to do, the doctors didn't have to do anything further. It just stopped. So I'm like, wow, like this is, this is awesome. <sighs> All right. So that was the first part of me getting through that. Okay, at my second appointment, I had to come back in and they were going to do everything. Check, check my blood work, did pap smear, all that good, good stuff. Blood work came back fine and everything, but I got a call from the doctor saying that my pap smear was abnormal. And it was so abnormal to the point where she wanted to do a colposcopy. Because my cells were, she want, she she thought that she saw some cells that were either cancerous or could become cancerous. So again, 
I'm faced with another battle and I'm like, okay, okay. Um, so she was like, I'll have my appointment, uh, schedule to call you to schedule an appointment. Um, so we scheduled it for the first week in January of this year. Okay. So I was like, all right, this gives me time to research and see what this thing, like what's really going on. Cause of, that's the worst thing you can do by the way is Google. But that's what I did. I started Googling and upon me Googling, I found some crazy things like, you know, a lot of people were like, you know, it came back and they did have cancer, but it was fine because they caught it early so they could do treatment, all this other stuff. <sighs> and um, others were saying that, you know, they miscarry because, you know, it is a big chance that you can miscarry with this procedure. So that right there made me the most nervous. And I talked to my sister about it because I can talk to her about, about things like this and she was like, see if, you know, they can just wait till after you have the baby to figure out, you know, what's going on. So I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I should just do that. Before I could even give a call back to try to, you know, to see if that was an option, I had got a call from my doctor. And she was like, I see that my scheduler put you in for the first week in January. She was like, but this is extremely serious. I need to see you like within the week, like within the week, no later than two weeks. That really made me super nervous. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like serious business. So I'm like, okay. So I ended up um, scheduling, for, scheduling it for that week. And I actually took a half day from work just so that I can get there on time. So I got there and of course, by that, by this time, I had already, you know, talked to God about it and was like, listen, you know, I know you got me. I'm not, I, I, I can't lie and say that I'm not scared, but I know you got me and it's going to be okay. And even if they caught something, one second. So I was like, even if they found something, you know, it is early, so they should be able to treat it. Okay, so that's the mindset that I went in with and got to the doctor and they were extremely busy. Um, they had a few people to call out because they tested positive for COVID. So there was literally one doctor in there working all these patients. So I had to wait <laughs> and I waited. But you know what? The longer I waited, I didn't mind it because it just gave me a chance to actually just be at peace and just be calm. So an hour went by and, and there was a knock at the door. And in comes my ultrasound tech. And I'm like, really? What are you doing here? I wasn't expecting to see you. <laughs> and she was like, you know, we're so busy. Um, And I know you're probably super nervous. So I wanted to just take a look at baby to ease your mind. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting this, but okay, let's do it. <laughs> so um, she had brought in her little ultrasound portable machine and um, started looking at baby and stuff. And she was like, man, this baby is super active. <laughs> he was so active. And um, she was like, wow, and he looks like he's waving at us. And no lie, y'all, it looks like he was literally waving. It was like he was like telling me, you know, mom is good. Like, I'm good you're good, we're gonna be good. So it, that was like confirmation for me. And with me seeing that, it really calmed my spirit. And I was like, okay, yeah, I got this, I can do this thing. So that really was amazing. I, I really love that. And then maybe 10 minutes after that, the doctor actually came in. And she pretty much went over the procedure with me. She was like, okay. She was like, I'm gonna look under a telescope figure things out it's gonna probably take me about 15 to 20 minutes and if I see these cells then um I'm gonna clip some of your cervix so that we can take it in um so that we can have the biopsy done and see you know if it's cancerous or not or what's going on so I'm like okay I mean let's let's just do it so um and I had also told her that I've been googling so I'm already like like just going crazy I was going crazy beforehand and she was like yeah don't google that's the worst you can do so I'm like all right is my baby gonna be okay and she was like yeah baby's gonna be fine so I'm there and I'm just like letting her do her little thing and I don't even know like and it was crazy because the whole time she was doing it the only thing that I was seeing in my head was my little guy waving at me that's all I could think about and then this thing I know, she goes, she's like, hmm, 
And I'm like, yeah, what's going on? And she said, you know what? It's so strange because your pap smear was looking a little scary. But as I'm doing this and taking a further look, she was like, I see no worries here. Everything looks fine. You're going to be fine. She was like, and I don't even have to clip any kind of, I don't even need to take any tissue from your service because it looks really healthy. And guys, when I tell you, all I could do was just look up and I was like, wow, thank you, God. Thank you so much for just, what's second again? <laughs> Y'all just don't understand. I was so happy because at that moment, that was God's confirmation telling me again that, hey, Monica, don't worry. I got this. I got you. Regardless, I got you. And that right there, I know he was testing my faith. And it was just amazing. Like, I, I yeah. That, at that moment there, I was like, okay, yeah. He, he is the truth. And I know that I know that I don't talk about religion on my channel because I want to be as diverse as possible. Um, but I, I just want to say that you know, um, if you don't have a relationship and you're looking for and you're needing you know someone just to be there for you, then please like get a relationship with God because He is the truth. I love Him so so much and. Um, I don't want to offend anybody who don't believe, but I'm just saying, like, he's the truth. I, I know that this story was long, but I wanted to tell you all my story so that you all can know that, like, the name that we chose, I knew was perfect. So, fast forward into the name picking. I actually had to come to you all because we were so at a loss. Like, my husband, he was talking about Goku and uh, Anakin and all these Star Wars names and Jaden, he was all over the place with names. My husband said he just wanted a name that was unique and cool. Me, I just wanted a name that spoke to me, you know. And a lot of names actually spoke to me. <laughs> so we're all like throwing out names and stuff, right? And then Kyra screams out. We didn't even bother to ask Kyra. I don't, I don't even know why I didn't include this little girl. But she just screamed out, what about Kion? And I'm like, hmm. And my husband's like, hmm, that's pretty unique. Jaden was like, hmm, that's a cool name. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of letters in it. <laughs> so at that moment, I was like, huh, I wonder how you spell that. So I go and I pull up my phone and I go, Google, how do you spell Kion? According to Baby Center, Kion means warrior in its Irish form, although is also associated with great enthusiasm in America. And I said, yep, that's his name. That is what his name is going to be. So Google actually um, spells his name as K-I-O-N. Kion is how we're going to pronounce it. And it means warrior. And I was like, wow, like that is the perfect name for him because... I have been through so many challenges, and every time I'm faced with a challenge, I'm reminded um, that my little baby is still there, strong and healthy. So after we had figured out what, how to say, how to spell Kion's name, and um, what the meaning of it was, we all turned to Kyra and was like, how did you come up with such an amazing name? And she goes, Kion is Simba's son. And I'm like, Simba? <laughs> you know what baby we'll take it thank you so much so yes y'all Kyra, Kyra is the one that named this little boy and the name is like just perfect so um yeah that is baby boy's name I'm glad that I was able to share my story with you all on today I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I need to clean my face up like I didn't want to get emotional but you know you can't help but get emotional when you know what God has done for you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. If you all enjoyed this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. But I will see you in the next one. Bye.